Welcome. <laughs> The Kissing Booth 3 was released in 2021 and was directed by Vincent Marcello. It stars Joey King and Jacob Ellerty and is a continuation of part two and part one of The Kissing Booth where Elle wants to make the best summer ever before everyone goes back to college. You know, I'm upset myself that I saw that it released on Netflix and my first thought was, Oh no, I'm gonna have to review this, aren't I? And then of course, Tina was like, Oh my gosh, you have to do a review of it. So, here we are. <laughs> you know, we're here now, and you, there's not much to say that hasn't already been said about this movie. I think the thing that has me the most confused is how much, well, how many positive reviews there are on Twitter of people being like, wow, this movie was so powerful. Elle is my spirit animal. She is me. It's Elle's decision for me. I, oh my God. <laughs> I absolutely hated this. I had to turn it off at one point. I have a very high tolerance for terrible, terrible movies. I actually had to turn it off at one point and like do something else for 30 minutes before I got the courage to finally finish the movie. And it, I'd say it was about halfway that it happened, but oh my God. It, I just hate it so much because everything is so unrealistic and it feels like they want to be realistic with what they're portraying, but it's just not. I mean, you're showing 25 to 30 year olds as high school graduates. You're showing them flaunt so much money around that's another thing how like rich they are but then of course in the second one they're like oh like oh l you don't have enough money to go to college yet she has this absolutely beautiful house her friends have like three different houses that they own with their summer house being the main part of this one yeah let's just get the flaunting of the money yeah i didn't i wasn't enjoying that but Overall, just the acting is absolutely horrendous. I, Jacob Ellerty, I am so, so sorry if you're watching this video because you suck at acting. <laughs> you, you're just a robot when you act and it feels like every line I am reading off a cue card. L, I don't like that you talk to that boy. Please stop. L, I like you. L, let's have weird random teenage sex scene. It, oh. So many problems. <laughs> it's not a good movie. Let's just get that out of the way. It's not a good movie. Don't watch it. There's nothing else to say. I mean, out of all of them, I don't, I don't, I guess this one you could say is the best. I don't, and that's really hard. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's just not a good movie. It's just terrible. I mean, I don't understand how this got backing to be made. That is still beyond me. I don't get, Joey King, why you make movies like this. We've seen you be good. I mean, the act you are so amazing in, and I absolutely loved you in that. Uh, the Lie, you are also very good in that. But then you're in The Kissing Booth. All three of them. You're in Slenderman. You are in The Conjuring. You're good in The Conjuring. Why are you doing stuff like this? Please stop making movies like this. Please, I am begging you. Don't do it anymore. So to end this review, I decided that I'm going to read a Google review of this movie. Now, of course, this isn't entirely meant to make fun of someone, uh, but that is what we will be doing. <laughs> and I'll blur out the name of the person whose review it is, but... They gave the movie five stars, and Tina, you could add just dramatic music with this, like, you know, like, inspirational, dramatic music. Wow. I love it so much. It really hit the heart. Life is complicated, and if you're truly living, it's one heck of a ride. So if you're young, enjoy, and make the best of memories with the ones whom you call friends, but make even better memories 
grace of the ones you call family. People come and they go throughout your life, and the real ones will always be there to keep you on your feet. Yous might not see each other, or even talk every day, but when you do, it'll seem like not a moment has passed. The best part of living is the memories that are made along the way. Love is beautiful, and a person might fall in love countless times throughout their journey. Some good, some bad, and some just effing crazy. That's life. I cried so many times during the movie because it's real and it was reality based. How hard and difficult choices can be. Just trust and believe everything will work out at the end. So if you haven't watched, it really is a must see. Great job. this helpful who found this helpful oh my god i wow loved it so much loved it so much the movie is so good it turns away from the conventional so-called happy ending to the couple i love the ending sad that it over <laughs> okay i can't do this anymore i can't read anymore <laughs> so Overall, I'd give this a Martial's haircut out of 10, and I don't recommend it. Do not watch this movie. So thank you everyone for watching this review, and be on the lookout for more reviews in the future. Of course, I didn't do the best movies I watched on vacation yet, so be on the lookout for that. And in that video, I'm also going to show what I got at the horror convention that I went to. Unfortunately, I couldn't record anything while I was there, so I'm just going to attach some pictures and some things that I got from the convention at the end of that video. But let's flash forward to the next review.